Okay, let's go through the exact process how I create and publish the books on Amazon KDP. Uh, click on the Create button, your, your title, let's say Amazon Publishing. And then in target audience, let's say digital marketers. And for the tone of the ebook, we can use something like from the first person experience. I like to use this one, engaging, motivating from the first person experience. And then I included some other uh, guides, guidelines, like write about AI tools that people can use to create ebooks. Means that I want this AI to write about different tools in sub chapters, not just some uh, basic general guidelines. Uh, I want to see more insightful tips, like use this tool for uh, book covers, use this tool for creating books, chapter, chapters for titles, use this tool for this, use this for that. So uh, you just need to put in everything you want to see. Click on a create ebook outline button. And in approximately 10 seconds, you'll get the entire outline, which if you don't like, you can simply uh, replace. You can generate another one by clicking on this button or you don't have to. You can just add on your own outline over here, add more chapters, sub chapters, whatever you like. You can do whatever you want, uh, but you need to keep the format like this, headings one for the chapters and then bullet list for the subchapters. If you don't like this outline builder, we have another one, which is under the tasks. Let me show you quickly. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll get this one. We can use the same title, Amazon Publishing, and we'll get um, most in most of the times we'll get 15 chapters with three sub chapters in each of these so we can use it uh, to to create three different variations if we like this one for example I'll, i like this one we're just gonna copy it we're gonna go back to create ebooks and then we're gonna do everything from from the start like this we can create ebook outline again and then replace it with our own outline that I already copied. I'm gonna just paste it. Select all and just paste it. So we get our outline like this, right? Now we have to click on create book in background and it will take approximately 10 minutes. It's much faster than that, but we just used it as a placeholder. So now we want to start creating our book, right? We're going to click on the Create button and then Kindle ebook, Create ebook. And now we are prompt to type in our book title. Now, I don't want to put only Amazon Publishing, right? I uh, want to find some better title. For example, we can use this feature, Informational ebook title ideas, and then we can select three variations and put in our title, which is Amazon Publishing let's say for uh, ebook creators and then we're going to generate and get three different variations of around 10 ideas each and i'm sure you're going to find your title over here let's say this one this one's fine right book title and then we're going to use first name stefan last name stefan last name mitrovic and then we're going to go to tasks because we need a description so we have a book summary description writer over here as you can see all you have to do is paste in your outline which we can get from our book i believe it's already done yeah it's already done it took less than i don't know three to four minutes we can simply go on the preview and download and this is the outline copy copy and paste it by the way this is our book it's a huge one right it has images it has everything uh over 90 pages i believe 92 93 maybe so we want to create a summary right we copied the outline and then we go to tasks and then we can go to book summary task over here copy and paste our outline, select three variations, and we'll get the summary that is perfectly optimized for KDP. Like this. 
or we can use even bigger one, shorter one, doesn't matter. So we can just copy, paste it. Uh, maybe you can just skim through, skim read through this. So we have this name over here. We don't use that name actually of the book. You can just rename it like this. And I guess we're ready. Now we want to select I only book copyright. No. And then we're going to get seven keywords. Uh, again, we have task for that. All you have to do, click on the keyword research for Amazon KDP, paste in your outline. I believe this is the outline. Yeah. Uh, then we click on the generate and it will give you seven keywords like the ones you're seeing. Amazon publishing, ebook publishing, self-publishing, marketing strategy, right? No, no, no. Then we can find this one. I like this one. So we're going to just copy and paste each one of these. Paste. Paste. So we want to include as many keywords as we possibly can, which is seven. So we can increase our book visibility. We need to choose a category. Let's say uh, I will go with one business and money general, but you can get, you can select up to three different categories and I advise you to do so. Uh, it will, it will increase your visibility. So all these steps are really important and not that difficult to follow, right? After you submit your publication, it can take up to 72 hours to go live. Uh, on average, it, for our books, it took around, I don't know, 12 to 24 hours, sometimes more. And sometimes you'll get a different, you'll get um, a message that you need to fix something like your title. Uh, don't don't stress out, it's, it's normal. Just change your title according to the guidelines and you'll be good to go. So now we need to upload our manuscript, which we can download over here. Go to your books preview and download and then you can download it as document x doc x or you can download it as pdf it's really simple so we downloaded it over here upload amazon publishing that's the name of my documents i download it right now so we're just gonna upload it saved now we need to cre create a cover well, there are two ways you can Go back over here. You can use our uh, ebook cover editor over here, or you can use Amazon. So initially, you'll get an image like this. We're gonna increase it. Don't be, don't, don't worry. This is a bit blurry, but it's not actually blurry. It's okay. Uh, once you download it, you'll see. So you can, what you can do, you can, um, you can add some different things like. You can add this and you can change the opacity, add text if you want, enter your text, double click on it, select everything, and then type in your text Amazon, Kindle Publishing, make sure to change the color if you want. You get the idea. You can, you can uh, do this. You can add your uh, author name over here. You can do different things. Uh, for now, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to save it. I'm just going to exit. But I like this image, so I'll download it. So I can download it over here, or I can just click on it, right-click, save image as, and we'll download it this way. So uh, I like, I really like this uh, cover creator. Uh, so we're going to just launch it, or you can uplo upload your own. We're going to just launch it, go and continue. From my computer, it's on a desktop, right? So we have it over here. And once we upload it, we'll get some different templates that we can use. I really, really, really like this one. Although you can play with different colors and different templates. I really like this one and I, I use it often. So preview, then we're going to save and submit. And we have our manuscript ready, our cover ready. Okay, so in this part, Amazon is asking you if you use the AI 
to create, I don't know, images or uh, text or anything, you can simply go and click on yes. It doesn't really matter. You can click on no as well. Uh, they're just collecting some information for, I believe, data statistics and everything, just to just to see what AI, uh, what impact AI has on books and everything. So you can select if you if you actually use it or if you don't want to select it, just select no. Uh, we can preview the book like this, and basically we are done with it. So uh, it's there's only one step left. This is how our book looks like. You see, so it's it's a really well formatted book and everything is probably done to be published. So we're gonna go to save and continue. And then on the last page, we're gonna be asked uh, for the royalty prop plan. Um, I prefer to select 35% uh, because it, it's a bit it's a bit tricky. So if you select this plan, uh, it will you will have some additional fees on each sale based on the size of your document. So let's see your book file size after conversion is 0.23 megabytes, which I don't really know if it's a lot a lot or uh, not, but I just I just want to stay on a safe side and take my fixed commission. So this way, if you select 35%, you'll get your commission straight. Uh, book price, let's say $7. So we'll get 2.24. After all, I'm going on a, after a quantity. So I'll have around 100, 200 books. And I really don't care if it's 70 or 35%. It's easier with 35%. Publish. And then you'll get a message like this. Of course, you can go and start your paperback. Uh, so you can you can create paperback or hardcover books, right? But you don't you don't have to. Uh, you can just have it digi in digital format like this. Again, it doesn't take too much time. It takes maybe ten minutes to create a paperback uh, copy of your book. So it's up to you. So that's that's how I actually use the tool, and I really hope it was helpful. Uh, I use a lot of these tasks when I need them. Uh, a lot of copywriting, um, SEO, email marketing tasks, and a lot of ebook related stuff right here. So if you need book appendix, for example, you can use it. Summary. If you want to create about the uh, author uh, page, you can use this builder. You can use uh, these tasks for ideas to gather some ideas and similar and this is the main one where you create a book so that's it